Okay friends, uh, this is another video from Shomu's Biology and this is the Q&A video sessions. Uh, there are a lot of questions being asked throughout the years regarding CSI net exam. And here I am going to answer one of the mostly asked questions in the last few six months and that is why the CSI net cutoff is increasing so much. And that is really a thing to worry about because uh, if you see past two CSI net cutoff, it's even more, even more than 60%. Earlier December 64 and this time it's also more than 61%, I guess. So it's increasing even earlier, like two, three years back, uh, the CSI net cutoff only for the JRF was approximately 48% and uh, for LS was 42 to 44%. That was the cutoff earlier. But now it's improving and it's, in, it's increased actually. It's increased to 64% in within three to four years. And that is a huge setback. If you look in three, four years, uh, the cutoff goes from 48% to 64%. And that makes uh, qualifying CSI net really, really difficult for life science students. Because, you know, if you study all the other CSI net cutoffs, you will see, though they are increased a little bit, in some of them are even decreased. None of the cutoff increased like life sciences. One other cutoff increased similarly like life sciences, that is chemical sciences cutoff, but not as much as life science cutoff. This is the maximum cutoff you will see in CSI net uh, site uh, given there for last two exams. Now the question is why the cutoff is increased. Most of the people just ask that thing because they prepared in a similar way. Earlier some of them qualified LS based on cutoff. But now getting even an LS which is more than 54% is a hard job to do. Now what is the reason for that? And I've, I've read many articles regarding it, many different things and myths and talk, talking about the stuff. But actually the real thing I feel myself is about, it's not about... Uh, like they, they declare and give questions to you and stuff. This is nothing like that. The answer for that is very simple. It's to answer this. You need to know how exactly CSIR gave you fellowship. If you know how exactly CSIR and provides you fellowship for that, you, you know how to answer. The thing is, you know, uh, it's just like, let's say CSIR here, CSIR and UGC. CSIR and UGC is the sponsor for this JRF, that is Junior Research Fellowship. Fellowship means there is a stipend given to every, every month uh, to the GRF that are involved with the research activities in the recognized universities by the CSIR and UGC. Now the thing is, in this case, let's say CSIR and UGC, let's put them in the middle because they are the sponsors. Now CSIR decides the limit for the money, the limit that is sanctioned by the Indian government to provide to all those research institutes and the number of head of the students that will be given. Earlier the fellowship was less. Uh, the amount of fellowship provided earlier was almost like 16,000 for JRF and 18,000 for SRF, Senior Research Fellow. So 16K and 18K, 16K for two years and rest of the three years 18K. Plus, they have travel allowance and rest of the allowance, but these are the basic salary that is provided earlier. So, at that time, the cutoff was really low. That is 48%, uh, similar like that for GRF, 42% for LS. But now, if you look, the, 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 the amount provided is 32K to GRF and 34 or 36K to SRF. So, you see, it's almost doubled over the year but if you ask yourself still that that is that the reason for for uh, increasing the cutoff though you think like can be a reason but actually this is still not the reason because the number of fellowship provided every single year almost remains same in the early time as well as in the present time so let's say if they give 2000 students the fellowship in earlier years at the cut of 48% they do the same thing they also give 2000 students uh, the that means they increase the fellowship amount they sanction more amounts to give higher and actually uh, what those GRF and SRF deserve that's what they provide right after uh, increment so that's not exactly the case because they give same number of students uh, the fellowship they increase the fellowship so what exactly the reason you need to understand uh, the idea of this thing the idea is you know 2000 uh, let's say they provide 2000 students on average 
of 30k that is their budget for a specific year that is their budget and they calculate the budget based on that and once they get the budget they know they can afford maximum to 2000 at a specific time then what will happen then they conduct they make the question paper and they conduct exam after the exam the result the result is the most important driving force that regulates whether the cut will be high or low because the thing is you know they can give 2000 students the fellowship now actually if you look at right after the result if they make the cut off let's say 50 percent if they make the cut off 50 percent let's say in this left hand side 50 percent cut off 2800 students are qualifying got it so 800 students extra qualified so they need to again provide fellowship to these 800 extra students but they don't have that money because that is a big deal in industry standards the money to offer so here they don't have that so now what they decide the only way to filter this number is to find out more uh, student like to 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 actually uh, fish out some some of the students from there and the only reason to only way to do it is increasing this mark statement because this exam is not like like anyone who qualified uh, so it, it's not like that you you have to get a mark statements as a range of statement like your you like uh, university exams and college exams this is a qualifying exam and the problem with qualifying exam is this is all or none event one or zero so Cutoff is 100, so if you above 100, doesn't matter, it's 180 or 101, you get the fellowship. If it's less than that, it doesn't matter whether you get 99. So the difference between the two person, you think, if you think that 50% is the cutoff, a person can get 101, another person can get 99. The difference between the marks of this two person is two only, but the person get 101 will be given the fellowship. The person get 99 will not be given the fellowship. And this thing happens every single time at the result of CSI net exam. And you'll find that every single time that one person at that borderline failed to qualify just because of one marks, even 0.5 marks. And that is really pathetic and that's really, really sad to think about. But that's the truth. That is how the, the judgment is done. So what they will do to lower this number because they need to put it behind this 2000 line. So they increase it to 58%. For example, or let's just say, let's look it for 60%. Once they increase it to 60%, they get only 1800 students to qualify. 100, so you see, two, so 1000 students failed for this specific point for thousand students are failed because 10 percent cutoff is increased so now their marks are going down the cutoff line so cut off means there's a strict line but this line is not fixed it should be altered because this is going to determine the total number of money that they have and total number of fellowships that they can provide that's why they never declare it from before and even they take some time to declare the cutoff and mark statement because they need to do a lot of work and changing based on the total number of results, total number of marks that they obtain and the number of students that they can afford to provide fellowship. Now anytime soon what happens right now that students are qualifying. That's because mostly they are preparing well. That's a very good thing. They are much concerned about their career. And the life science question paper also remains almost similar. It's not getting like the questions are easier these days. It's not the case. But people are more interested to that. People are preparing really well. There are good coaching institutes are there. There are they went to coaching institutes and they're preparing themselves very well. That is helping them uh, to secure some good marks. Even though the competition is huge, but they are getting some good marks from there. So they are qualifying. So almost on average, students are getting the desired 60% marks line that is supported by the sponsorship of UGC and CSIR. Now, the thing is, the only way this cutoff is going to go down, there are two options. One, if the question paper is really difficult and very less number of students qualify a certain level of marks. Let's say in certain year, let's say in upcoming December year, if the question paper is really difficult, let's say it's so difficult that only 1000 students cross 
60% marks. So in that case, they will not uh, put the cut of 60% because they have vacant 1000 seats. So they will glue it down to 54, 52% to check uh, whether how many more students qualify for that. And that's how they will do. So this is one thing. If the question paper is tough and less students qualify for it, then the cutoff will, will go down. Another way cutoff can go down, if the total number of students sponsored by CSIR and UGC, if, if they increase that. Because if they increase the amount of money that they provide for the fellowship for every single year, if they increase that, if this is increased, that is also going to decrease the cutoff because increasing the money means they can have more heads let's say instead of 2000 if they can have 3000 heads 1000 seats will be vacant so obviously uh, they need to keep a lower cutoff to have those 1000 seats filled that is how the cutoff is determined and that is how the whole process is worked so this cut off whenever you heard this name cut off right now in future you will think of this is a variable scale that fluctuates based on the average marks of the total number of students appeared for the exam and the money that CSIR and UGC has to offer. That's all about the cutoff. That's why the cutoff is increasing. It means it's a good signal for like people are preparing for it and also uh, they, they, they are mostly familiar with the exam and uh, they can appear for the exam uh, getting more better marks for the exam. That is one thing and the rest of the things. But there's nothing to do with maximum about the change in the fellowship thing because uh, they maintain it same as well as it's not, nothing to deal with any other thing. So this is how it will work. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any queries regarding CSI net exam, you can put it into the comment section. I'll try to answer them before the next uh, net or even before this December net exam if you want. And uh, share this video with your friends because every single the parent needs to know this. Thank you.